Good morning. Good morning, good morning. The people have spoken. <laughs> Y'all, a few of you responded uh, to the poll, what kind of yoga you wanted. So that was um, the one that was chosen was Hatha. So this is going to be a little bit more gentle. We'll go through a gentle flow. So more um, more breath work, breath work transitions. That's what we're going to be rocking today. We'll start standing, or you can be in your chair if that's how you prefer, but we're gonna start up and then um, come and go this way. And then we'll it's a little different flow than what we've been doing. Shoulders in our chest. 
wide as you can. Inhale, reach wide out and up. Breathing in that intention, bringing those hands slowly together. On exhale, letting go of anything that isn't serving you. Do that one more time. Opening up. Inhale. Taking in everything you can here. Opening up the chest. Hands come together. Roll those shoulders out. Intentionally pushing your shoulders down as you bring those hands back. Relax and release. Roll them out. Shake out the neck a little bit. Shake out the hips a little bit. All right. Roll it out. <laughs> Relax it out. And then open up our legs just a little bit. So take one leg forward. I'm going to plant my right leg first. And then I'm just going to extend my left leg and just point and flex a little bit. Add a little ankle roll. I'm going to add my hands to my hips for some extra stability here. And when I feel like that ankle is nice and ready, I'm going to switch on over to the other side. So planting my left and then just rolling out that right. Just extending that foot forward, really grounding down on the opposite foot, pointing and flexing my toe, opening up the ankle. Roll it out just a little bit, and then let's ground it down. Open those legs. We're going to go for a wide leg stretch here. So just Opening those legs up, go about shoulder length, and then just kind of zigzag those feet a little bit further if that feels good for you. Inhale, bring those arms out to opposite sides. So inhale, just reaching and extending in opposite directions, really opening up the heart space. Holding here for a minute, rolling those shoulder blades, intentionally relax your shoulders and then roll them back down your back. Grounding down, pushing the spine down towards the ground, sending that weight towards the outside of your feet. So going towards the pinky toe, really extending out. On that next exhale, just relax, relax the knees, relax yourself, shake it out just a little bit. Zigzag those feet just a little bit closer, come up just a little bit. We're not quite mountain pose, we're not fully open, somewhere in between. Let's inhale, bring those arms just straight in front of you. Inhale, take them up all the way up. Reach up and then exhale, cactus the arms out. And then inhale, reach up, extend up, and exhale, cactus back down. One more time. Reach up, open up, and then relax and release. From here, we're just going to go into like a warrior one. So take those legs. I'm going to leave my left leg forward, bringing my right leg back, kind of like I'm on the railroad tracks. So both legs are um, straight here. I'm going to bend slightly my left leg, keeping that right leg flat, foot flat. Both feet are flat. <laughs> Right leg is straight, left leg is bent. Just adjust the hips. So grabbing the hips and slowly rotating them towards the front, forward facing, just finding this position for a minute. Fitting in this open leg stretch for your one. Inhale, take those arms straight. Back. See if you can notice 
And exhale, release, being gentle with your body. Bring those hands on down and let's switch sides. Send that left leg back. Maybe you find an additional stretch here. As you bring that right foot forward in between those hands. Bent right knee, opening ourselves up here. Open the hips. And then when you're ready, go ahead and drop that left knee. Find your positioning and allow yourself your core to pull yourself up. Adjust where is necessary, opening up. Rotate those hips. And then we'll go into that twist. Finding that left elbow on over to our right knee thigh area. Find rest in the twist. And then extend to the level of your comfort. And on that next exhale, let's find our way. And twist yourself, get those hands back down to the floor. Let's go on down into a park. Bring those hands down, extend those feet out. Rock yourself in a plank for just a minute. Kind of rock back and forth a little bit. And then we'll send those hips up into a downward dog. Send those hips back. Go wide dog. So open the feet. Open the hips. Staying here in your down dog for one more breath. And we're going to find our way down into um, tabletop. Shake it out just a little bit. Do that figure eight. We'll sit on back into our child's pose and then we'll find our way all the way down to the mat here. Slowly work your way up. I'm going to send our, keeping your right leg bent, send your left leg forward. And go towards that straight left leg first. And just allow yourself to just slowly rest into your leg. Looking for length. And when you're ready, start making your way over towards that bent knee. Continuing to stretch and twist our spine, relaxing our hips as we come into this fold. This is a great time for a block. If the, the ground is too far, you put that block here, kind of bringing the ground up so that you're not hurting yourself as you're find, trying to find rest. Let's switch those legs. So just bring that left leg in, left foot into right thigh. Right foot is forward facing or straight. Kind of play around with the mat here, wherever you're still getting that support. 
finding that link. And we're stretching toward our toes, nose to toes. And gently finding your way over toward that left bent knee. Breathing into your bend, whatever that looks like in your body. We're going to find our way into staff position. Maybe a little bit more lengthening and strengthening. Oh, finding your comfortable spot on your mat, ground down. Adjust those sit bones, send those feet straight forward. Inhale, bring those arms up, looking for that length. And exhale, just relax those arms down. Mine are finding their way just beyond my knees. And then I'm going to send my shoulders towards my toes. I'm just using my body to inch my way. Relaxing my hips as I forward fold. Relaxing the neck. And relax yourself back out. Let it all go. Let's bring those knees up. Give yourself a little hug here. And we're going to gently find our way onto our back. Keeping those knees on the ground. Relax your hips. Relax your shoulders. Allow yourself to melt into the mat a little bit. Do a pigeon. So let's bring our right foot and ankle up to the left knee. Bringing your foot up to knee. You can allow gravity just to open up your hip, or you can add a gentle stretch with your hands. Continuing to open that hip, relaxing anything that's still left there. You can extend the stretch if you want to. If you want to bring your left leg up, you can on the inhale, slowly lifting the left leg, grabbing it with your hand and your thigh, and pulling in towards your knee and your shin. And relaxing yourself down. That's all. <laughs> mm. Bringing that left foot and ankle up over to the right. Open up that hip. And then if you wanted to add that additional stretch, you can certainly bring your left leg and fly up and in. Continuing to open that hip. Relaxing on down, slammed off with those feet. Go into um, a little bridge position if that's accessible in your body. So keeping your feet planted, just lift your hips up. Extending, pushing down with the shoulders, relaxing the neck. You can add your hands, a couple of fists here. You stack your fists. That's really helpful for 
adding additional support. And then relax it down, relax those legs all the way out. Find a good big stretch here before we go into our final side stretch. Reach and stretch, find that length. Bring those knees to chest, use that core. Bring those knees up, chest, hug them in. And then send those knees on down to the ground. I'm going to send mine over to the left first. Dropping my knees to the floor, sending my arms out. Opening up, getting that final back bend for this practice. Or, I'm sorry, twist, stretch. Use that core, bring those knees back up. And send your knees on over to the opposite side. Mine are now going to the right. Keeping my arms out and dive deeper into the stretch and this twist by sending your gaze the opposite direction that your knees are facing. Bring those knees on up to chest. Roll them out just a little bit. A couple more things we're going to do here while we are on the ground on the mat. Extend your legs on out and roll yourself on over. Find your way over to the tummy. Just come out to a little 
yourself so much.